Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another exciting episode of Minecraft, the quest for all biomes. Well guys, let us get up into the sky. So the first thing we need to do, put our map in off offhand there, get ready for our firework rocket and off we go. And of course, as always, we need to turn our sounds on, which still haven't come on. So, so which means we need to come into here, go switch off the shaders. Come back onto internal shaders. Not eternal shaders, gosh. Eternal shaders would be something very, very fancy indeed. Okay, now we are flying in the sky. Awesome. But we don't have any wing noises. Just a second. There we go. There are wing noises. Okay, guys. So, today we have a bit of exploring around to do. And, uh, as you can see, we've started a new map. And today also marks another bit of a big uh, occasion in uh, our time together. And the reason for that is, if I can get back on the, the map that I'm supposed to be on, I am very, very lost at the moment. Okay, do I need to go come right to left? Yes, uh, you guys have voted in tw on Twitter. You have decided and uh, made clear what it is that you wish to be doing. Let me get the other map out here to see where I am. Okay, I need to come this way. Right, so yeah, you have voted and made very, very clear in the vote. And thank you so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you who voted on that Twitter poll. Thank you for coming to the party and for letting your thoughts be heard. And yep, your votes counted all together. And uh, what we have decided we are going to do as a group is we are going to be building the city on the lake in the jungle. Yeah, so that's going to be our next project, and I am so excited to get to doing that. I am really super hyped for that project. I'm really, really looking forward to it. It's something that, you know, now we can sink our teeth into. We don't have to be held back anymore, because, like I said, I think my, my ability to build has improved a lot over the last little while, and I was having to hold that back in, in the last city. The last city was amazing, but I had to keep it all as one cohesive whole. So I was having to hold back what I was doing and uh, scale down the things that I wanted to do just to fit in with the city as a whole. And I was finding it very difficult, especially, I think you'll notice, with the palace in that. Uh, it doesn't quite fit with the rest of the city just because it, it wasn't done at the same time, you know? It, it took take so long to build one of these mega builds. So, yeah. But anyway, so I've started preparing the whole area there and I'll take you there in the next episode. And oh, I'm just so excited to get starting. But as always, we have to do our exploring. And another exciting thing with this uh, particular exploring episode is that this map is the very last map on this particular line of maps. So after this map is done, we will have crossed over the whole horizontal plane of, of the map room. So that is so super exciting. That is so much of this Minecraft world that has been explored and uh, logged on our map. And what amazes me is how much of this world is water. Oh, and I hear an ocean monument down below. Yep, whoa, and there's the scary thing. I'm sorry if that gave any of you a fright. Don't worry, it startled me a little bit. But uh, yeah, so we do get these guys spawning in our worlds. Alrighty, well that's, that's something new. Usually when I find one of these ocean monuments, these uh, Elder Guardians aren't here. Oh, and there's two. Look at this, guys. There's two ocean monuments, like, right in the line over here. That's something super exciting. Maybe we can do sort of like a Lost Atlantis build at some stage using those two. Be a bit of a mission to clear it out, but it'll be fun at least. Do it on the video. Uh, we did it ages ago, if you guys want to see me clearing out a water monument. Uh, in the beginning of this series, there's quite a few episodes where I went through my process of clearing out the water monument right by our main home tree, as I call it. So, yeah. Wow, is this a third one? It is. Wow, guys. Look at this. That's three ocean monuments in a row. That is something super exciting. I do not believe that's very common. Sure. That is, that is super exciting. Something that's not so exciting, and it's a bit of a downer, but oh well, these things happen. Um, where I go to repair all my gear is the end. And there is a desert temple over here, so let's make an unscheduled landing. And have a look at what's inside. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's drop down here. Um, yeah, so what I was saying, a bit of a... Oh, we've still got mining fatigue. 
Okay, how much? For three minutes, guys. Is it worth it? Or do we get this thing on the way back? I think we get this thing on the way back. The problem is, how do I get out of here now? Oh my gosh, guys. We have, like, trapped ourselves in here now. Because we, like, seriously can't get out of here. This sucks. Oh, well, another thing that sucks that I wanted to tell you guys that, that happened was, um, we, um, uh, you know where we go to repair all our, all our gear in the end over there? So, what happened with regards to that, I really wish I had a bucket of milk now, um, but what happened in regards to that is our little endermite that attracts all the endermen to fall down into our little portal, he unfortunately met his demise. I'm not entirely sure how. I would imagine maybe an Enderman got to him or something. But yeah, I went there to repair all my gear and none of the stuff was... None of the Endermen were falling down or anything. So I'm like, okay, what what's happening here? So at uh, risk to my gear, I jumped off the edge, used the rockets to get up and uh, through all of that managed to... This is not mining at all. Okay. Let's try and drop down here without touching the pressure plate. That was very risky, Athice. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, like I was saying, we, um, so I went up there, just managed to light up the area before any Enderman came in. I had to replace the Endermite. So, that was a bit of work, but we, I managed to do that. And, uh, yeah. So, now all the stuff is together. A Fortune 1. Not too shabby, but not amazing. Don't know why I'm collecting this stuff. I'm like a hoarder. Anything that I see, I collect. <laughs> I'm really hoping that there'll be a better use for zombie flesh in the future as well. Because, I mean, it's not too useful at the moment, that is for sure. Efficiency 5, alrighty. And there's some more bones here. I was thinking of uh, incorporating bone blocks into the build that we're going to be doing. I don't know what you guys think of that, but it's just a little thought that I had that might be an interesting idea to do, is to incorporate bone blocks just for their texture. Uh, and, you know, bone would be a readily available resource in the jungle, so it's not like it doesn't make sense to have bone blocks in the jungle. Okay, now we get to the sucky bit, sucky bit over here, where we have to wait. Ugh, 57 seconds, and then, ugh, this mining fatigue is so fatiguing, guys. I was, like, so hyped up at the beginning of this episode, so ready for the world, and then now we we mining slower than an ant. Come on. Come on. You can do it, pick. There we go. Talking about ants. I was watching this most, most amazing video on, on ants the other day. It is amazing how these creatures are so clever. Unlike me. <laughs> oh, and also we need to get the TNT, so let's just wait this out. Anyway, I can talk to you guys about ants and how amazing they are in the meantime. Set up for firework for fun. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, um, they they are such amazing creatures. And uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the channel by the name of Ant Canada. I shared it with my one friend. She seemed to enjoy it. So yeah, I, I really recommend you guys check out uh, Ant Canada channel if you want to find out more about ants. They really, really are amazing creatures. And yeah, that, that's all pretty much I have to say. And the mining fatigue is done. Okay, let's get this TNT and let's get out of here. And of course now we get stuck in a ghost box, because if it's not one thing, it's another. Oh my goody, goody gun drops. Come on, there we go, we're out of the ghost block. I really, really wish Mojang, or Mojang, or however you pronounce it, would fix ghost blocks. If, if that there's one thing I want them to fix in the next update, above anything else, it is ghost blocks. Because they are so annoying. So, so annoying. I mean, you break a block, and it's still there, and you get stuck in it, and ugh. Anyway, let's get out of here. We don't want this tomb to be our tomb. So let us make our way out. There we go. And there's the village up top there. Uh, I'll, oh, that didn't work out as I wanted it to. Let's try that again. Yep. There we go. Okay, we're in the air again. And we're exploring some new territory. Let's make a turn over here. Okay, and carry on exploring some of this map. Now, what I said I was aiming for is to do half a map every episode, and I think I'll stick to that, even though the, the Desert Temple elongated this episode by a little bit, unfortunately. But uh, maybe fortunately, maybe you guys enjoy listening to me talk on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Okay, okay, I'll stop. <laughs> but anyway, maybe you guys enjoy the, the longer episodes. But uh, yeah, 
we're going to try and aim for that half a map. It would be uh, bad to set a target like that and then not meet it on the very first try. So one thing that I, I'll need to be frugal with though is my uh, fireworks. I was letting them off quite wastefully in, in the temple there. So I think what we can do is use the firework to gain some height like that and then glide down rather than use it to get speed just for now. Okay. So let's carry on filling in the land below, and as you can see from the map there, there is just a whole big ocean below us. There really, really, really is a lot of ocean on this map. But then again, in the real world, there is a lot of ocean in the world, so it makes sense. <laughs> it would be weird if we just had land, 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 and no ocean below. So yeah. These tiny little islands give me hope that one day we will find a mushroom island. One day. One day is one day, as the expression goes in this country. Alright, so let's come around this way, and straight up into the air we shoot. There we go, particles have run out, which means we need to keep going this way. Okay, make a slight turning over here. But just when we were getting to some land, unfortunately, we have to turn away from it, but oh well. Then we can come this way. And let's head on up. Nice. It's amazing how high you can fly up with these uh, fireworks. I really, really... I wasn't too sure about them at first, but they've really grown on me, and I've seen people do some amazing tricks with them. Um, unfortunately, as far as the Diamond Society goes, with me using Elytra and stuff like that, I don't think it will be too successful with me just because of how bad my connection is. That's why I haven't even really worried uh, to get an Elytra on the Diamond Society, because I'm worried that, you know... If I have one, the temptation will be to use it, and then I'll end up dying and losing all my stuff because of lag. So, but I'm, I'm happy being uh, on my feet in Diamond Society. I'm still really, really enjoying myself there. For those of you guys that uh, don't watch it, which I think are in the minority, because more people watch the Diamond Society events than my single player. But for those of you that don't, it, it really is a nice time. So I suggest you go check out some Diamond Society events and enjoy it. <laughs> okay. So let's carry on here, now that we're getting back up to the top. As you can see, the ocean is big, <laughs> with lots of little islands, which is good, because that's usually the sort of terrain mushroom biomes spawn in, and I am repeating myself now, but I am really, 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 really hoping to find a mushroom biome at some stage, so that is why I am repeating myself. Okay, let's, let's go down towards the land, slowly approach that land. That land doesn't even know we're coming. We're going to move quietly up to this land, slowly. Moving closer, and closer, and closer. And then BOOM! With the firework right shoot over it with the speed of sound. There we go. Okay. Just checking to make sure that you guys are all awake. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep on going. And uh, yeah. So in terms of talky talk time. So, I don't know how many of you guys are Nintendo fans. I'm a Nintendo fan. I enjoy Nintendo games. I enjoy Nintendo consoles. The 3DS is the best thing since sliced cheese for me. It goes with me wherever I go because I enjoy using it so much. This is amazing terrain. I love terrain that is just pure stone. It looks so realistic and awesome. And oh my word, these mountains are so cool. Look at this. <laughs> just when I was thinking, okay, I need to do talky talk time because we're running out of things in the game to look at. That comes up. But that is off this map. Okay. <laughs> so we do need to do talky talk time. Yeah. So Nintendo has recently held a conference uh, a few weeks back now from when you guys see this video. Um, where they show off the Nintendo Switch. And if any of you guys have any opinions on it, if you guys can let me know, it would be super interesting. I think it looks amazing. Uh, the console itself is, is so good. You know, the amounts of things it can do, the idea behind having it be portable, but also having it be able to talk to the TV and uh, work work with the TV when it needs to, be portable when it needs to, I think that is such a cool idea. What I don't like is the limited number of games that are going to be coming out for it on its release. I mean, it's basically got Zelda Breath of the Wild and a Mario game, but the Mario game is only coming out much later in the year. So... It, uh, but another cool game that's coming out from it is Xenoblade uh, Chronicles 2, so that looks super exciting. But yeah, like I was saying, it doesn't really have a strong launch lineup, which is a bit worrying. Um, hopefully developers will see uh, what an amazing console it is and 
the opportunities that are actually on it for awesome games to be made. I mean, the HD rumble on it, that feature alone looks so amazing. I really wish I could just uh, get my hands on one of them and feel what it feels like to use that console. Just hold one of those uh, Joy-Cons in my hand and just see what it feels like. I mean, it just looks awesome. <laughs> so yeah, let me guys, let me guys know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts, guys, on, on that uh, particular piece of hardware. What are your thoughts on the Switch? Do you think it's a cool thing, or do you think it's a drool thing? Do you think it's not something that is too good, not something you'd be interested in getting for yourself? You know, if I had the money, definitely I'd, I'd pre-order one, I'd get one, because Nintendo usually comes through with things, and I, I'm not even joking about that. The Wii U was a bit of a letdown, but if you look before that, the Wii was amazing, GameCube was amazing, N64... All of these things were amazing pieces of hardware. The Game Boy, the 3DS, all of that stellar, stellar stuff. And I mean, now that Nintendo Switch is going to be portable, it looks like the next Pokemon game will be coming out on it. So for that reason alone, I would really like to get my hands on it because in terms of games, Pokemon is like almost tops for me. The only game that tops Pokemon for me is Final Fantasy, so yeah. So, thank you guys very, very much for watching this episode. As you can see, we've done roughly half the map. I know, slightly less than half, but we did have that amount of time in the, uh, uh, in the desert temple to consider. So, yeah, thank you guys very, very much for watching. And tune in next time for something I'm super excited about. Getting started with the build that you guys have decided that we should do. The build in the middle of the jungle on the lake. So, thank you guys very much for watching. As always, my name is Athais. Good night. God bless. Bye.